About four years ago, I started off investing $50 every single week inside of the stock market or around $200 every single month. In the month of June alone, just from passive income, me doing absolutely nothing at all, I earned over $300, around $302 of passive income in my portfolio by doing absolutely nothing in just one month. If we average that out, that's gonna be around $3,600 in passive income this year alone. That's just like giving myself a bonus at a job or a raise at my job. And this is completely passive income. So now I'm making more money every single month than I was investing, spending my own cash inside the stock market just four years ago. Now you guys are probably asking, how am I earning this passive income? Well, I started off doing dividend investing. So I got paid out passive income from 26 different stocks and dividends. I'm gonna tell you guys exactly what 26 stocks paid me out and how you could do it yourself starting today and do an even better job than I did four years ago. Now that I have this experience, I'm gonna pass this all on to you. Now, if you're new to this channel, you guys are probably wondering what is dividend investing? But dividends is when you invest inside of a company that pays out dividends and these companies are saying, hey, thank you for investing inside of our company. We're gonna give you a little kickback for investing inside of our company as a reward. Here you go, thank it. And these companies kind of want you to reinvest those dividends back into the company. But there's been a new movement where dividend investors are now starting to live off of their dividends. There are some people bringing in $1,000 a month, $5,000 a month, $15,000 every single month in dividends. And it's by far the most passive form of income. All you gotta do is own these shares. And then once a quarter or once every single month, these companies send you out a check, they deposit it straight inside your account. And you, do, you just wake up with money inside of your account. It's by far the most passive form of income there is if you do it right so make sure that you subscribe to this channel and stick throughout the entire video so you do not miss out on any future information and also hit that thumbs up button that helps out this channel more than you guys can even imagine now in this video i'm going to show you what 26 stocks pay me out and i'm also going to show you three different type of dividends that you guys could start investing into today so do not miss out on those three they're called dividend reits dividend aristocrats and dividend kings i'm going to explain all of those in this video along with my 26 stocks so make sure you hit the thumbs up button for that but if you guys do want to get started to invest inside the stock market today i'm going to leave a link down in the description to Mumu. you click that you sign up you deposit a hundred dollars and you can receive up to 15 free stocks using my link down below inside of mumu they have free advanced tools no commission trading 5.1 apy um cash sweep on the cash that's just sitting inside your portfolio so you can earn five percent on the cash that's just sitting inside your portfolio sometimes that might even be better than dividends and with those free stocks you could keep those free stocks inside of your portfolio and decide to use it or you could sell those free stocks and withdraw of your money guys it's literally free money do not miss out on that amazing opportunity i'm gonna also leave a link in the description to weeble you sign up deposit a dollar if you want to and you receive up to 12 free stocks so both of those links are going to be down in the description if you want to get started today but enough talking let's go ahead and dive straight into this video okay we're back let me school you guys right quick so i do not want to give you guys any bad information i'm going to give you some legit information that i have learned over the last four years now the first one is going to be real estate REITs now real estate REITs are companies that invest inside real estate either commercial retail any kind of real estate space out there houses businesses homes anything like that they invest inside that and by law real estate REITs are required to pay back um, their investors in the form of dividends 90 percent of their taxable income in the form of dividends back to their investors so now real estate REITs usually have a higher dividend yield remember the higher the yield the more that you get paid on the dividends the lower the yield the lower you're going to get paid on the dividends so let's so let's say a company is a hundred dollars and their yield is five percent you're going to receive five dollars from that company in dividends now if say the company is a hundred dollars and their yield is only three percent you're going to receive three dollars from that company in dividends so some of these real estate companies they're up to eight percent nine percent twelve percent they have the highest dividend yields and they usually pay out every single month so that's real estate REITs, but you got to be careful with that because they hire the yield that they're paying back in dividends to their investors. They don't have enough money to reinvest back inside of the company in order to grow the company. So you got to be careful on not just investing inside a, 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 a dividend paying company because they have a high dividend yield. Do not be that dividend investor. I did it early on. Learn from my mistakes. Find you a good quality company. And the way that you can find you a good quality company is moving over to the next one, which is dividend aristocrats. Now, dividend aristocrats are companies that are inside the S&P 500, 
That means that's the top 500 companies in America. And they also increased their dividend yield every single year for the last 25 years. That's how you know it's kind of a dependable company because some people would invest inside a dividend paying company that's 15%. And then it's three months down the line, that company cut their dividends. Now you're going to lose your equity and you're going to use, lose your uh, dividend yield. So companies that continue to grow their dividends every single year is a good indication that these companies are a good quality company. Now, Dividend Kings is the same thing as a dividend and risk rep, but they increase their dividends every single year for the last 50 years, like Coca-Cola, Johnson & Johnson, um, Procter and Gamble, these companies, some of them have increased their dividends every single year for the last 60 years, longer than many of us have even been alive. So that's a good track record on how to find a good quality company. The only downside to that is that a real estate REIT might have a dividend yield of five, six, 7% compared to a dividend king, which might only have a dividend yield of one, two, maybe 3%. So what I do, this is what I do. I look for good quality companies that just so happen to pay dividends i'm gonna look for the best company i can find first pepsico apple on walmart i'm gonna look for the best companies that i can find first and if they just so happen to pay dividends to give me a kickback from investing inside a company that i already want to own that company growth is going to grow over time like apple growing over time walmart growing over time mcdonald's growing over time i'm going to get equity from these companies growing over time, and I'm also gonna get a kickback in dividends from these companies. Now, they might not have the best dividend yields compared to some of the real estate REITs, but there is one real estate REIT that I'm gonna talk about in this video that I actually like, but there are some people that are investing inside dividend paying companies that have a seven, eight, nine percent dividend yield, but the company uh, stock price is just dropping over time and you end up losing money in the long run. So new dividend investors, they're going out and say, hey, what company has the best dividend yield? I'm going to invest inside that. I don't even know what this company is. I don't even know what this ETF is. I'm just going to invest into it because it has a 7% dividend yield. If it continues to have 7% dividend yield for the next five, six, seven years, I could have this much money. But that's not how you do it, guys. You don't want to chase dividends. You want to chase good quality companies that just so happen to pay dividends. So let me show you the 26th in the month of June. I'm going to run through them really fast. Um, I'm going to give you a grading score on which ones was good. I'm going to say good eh, or bad in this video because I actually need to go through and sell a couple of these. But for now, I'm going to hold on so I can show you guys an example in this video. So let's go ahead and pull up those 26. Okay, guys, here we are on Robinhood. The first one that paid me out on June 3rd is Intel. Let me just show you guys exactly how it would look. I own 80 shares of Intel, pay me out 12 cents per share. So a total of $10. I got Intel at a amazing price i got them on the dip and i end up picking up 80 shares of intel pay me out ten dollars in the month of june so intel i give it a is a good investment for me on um, ford i got that as a good price as well i'll say that's pretty good they got a good dividend yield pay me out three dollars and thirty cents um wtrg which is utility company dealing with water always got to have a utility company on stocks so i think this one's is okay pay me out a dollar and 54 cents um visa ticker symbol v pay me out one cents i think i got that as a free share um johnson and johnson is a dividend king they uh, increase their dividends every single year that is the key you want to invest in companies that increase their dividends um johnson and johnson own pretty much everything right so johnson and johnson is a dividend king pay me out two dollars and 48 cents i own two shares of johnson and johnson uh, delta airlines 60 cents this is a i want to say my best i want to i if, if i say bad okay and good this one is just a little bit under okay um sherman williams this is pretty decent one um ticker symbol sh um aw i own one share that paid me out 72 cents msty is my risky investment i own 28 shares paying out three dollars and three cents per share for a total of 84 dollars that has to deal with um bitcoin very risky i could do this because i built a pretty good foundation to where i could take some risks now agnc real estate REIT, not a good investment but if we take a look at agency let's view agency they've been paying me out for a while and we should go to show more um dividends agency been paying me out 14 dollars and 28 cents for a very long time now so um uh even though they've been paying me out for a long time that's a, div a real estate REIT pays me out every single month 14 dollars 28 cents i would not say it's below okay it's a bad investment mmm 3m is a great investment it is a 
dividend king. I think they increase their dividends every single year for the last 54 ish years, maybe more than that. Um, dividend king, I own four shares of MMM in this portfolio, uh, paying out 70, 70, 70 cents per paying out 70 cents per share for $2.81. Microsoft's dividend risk or dividend king paid me out on um, $5.55. Ticker symbol O is probably the best real estate REIT there is out there. Right now, they're at a decent price. I own 10 shares. If you could go in and pick up ticker symbol O, Realty Income, at a good price right now to start your position, it'll be a good time to start dollar cost averaging in on Realty Income. Um, 10 shares, 26 cents per share, um, $2.83 pays me out every single month. McDonald's, love McDonald's. Pay me out $8.39. I own five shares of McDonald's. Um, Google, love Google. Pay me out $0.67. Cents. Um, PSEC, not the best investment. Pay me out $1.48. Waste management, great investment. Great investment. Love waste management. Got 28 shares. Pay me out $0.75 cents per share, $21.68. Love waste management. NTS was a gaming company that I invested into because they had a stock split coming up. Made my money on that. Um, they had $3.07. Okay, investment. I wouldn't say the best. I would not say the best. SPYD, pretty good. It's a dividend ETF. I say it's okay. I wouldn't say it's good. Um, $5.75. Meta or Facebook pay me out $4.50. It's pretty decent. Um, PEY, it's okay. Um, $8.05. PEY is a dividend ETF. SPHD is a dividend ETF. $4.16. Um, NVIDIA pay me out $0.08. Cents. I own just a fraction of NVIDIA, uh, like seven shares at the time. PEP, PepsiCo, good investment. Um, PepsiCo is a dividend aristocrat, or did they just become dividend kings? Either way, they've been increasing their dividends every single year for the last 25 plus years. So two shares of um, PepsiCo paid me out $1.36. Then here goes something that's going to pay me out in July as well. Let's pull up my Weeble account. All right, so here I am Weeble. They were going 3M. Pay me, I have 100 shares. Paid me out 70 cents per share. I got $70 from 3M. 3M, once again, is a dividend king. Increased their dividends every single year for 50 plus years. Right here, I got 30 shares of Microsoft, paying me out $22.50. And then I also got um, 100 shares of Google, paying me out $20.20 20 per share. So that is all 26 of my dividend payments. And there we go, guys. That's all 26 payments. I believe four years ago, my first year of dividend investing, I made $57. My full first year in dividends, like the whole year, I made around $57. So now I'm making $300 plus in a single month. It's going to average out to around $3,000, maybe $4,000 in a year because sometimes it's a little more than $300. Sometimes it's $370. Sometimes it's a little less. Sometimes it's $290, depending on the month. Remember, not all of them pay out every single month. Some of them pay out every quarter. So next month, I begin pay dividends from Apple. I own a lot of shares of Apple. So yeah, guys, if you got paid out in dividends this month if you're already a dividend investor drop down in the comment section and let me know what dividend stocks are you heavily invested into um not just one that you got that you're heavily invested into like this is my favorite dividend stocks that pay me out every quarter or this is my favorite dividend stocks that pay me out every single month drop that down below in the comment section if you're ready to get started i'm going to leave the links to moomoo and to weeble down in the uh in the description you click that sign up get your free shares guys it's by far the easiest way to get started. But yeah, guys, it's a long journey from four years ago to now. So next four years when I do this video again, I expect to be making around $1,000 every single month or $12,000 in a single year. I could use my dividend investments to take the, the, the best vacation I could possibly take uh, at any time by doing absolutely nothing at all in the form of dividends. It's by far the easiest way of passive income. I could go on my vacation paid for through my dividends, which is completely insane. If you want to learn more about dividends, I'm going to leave a pin comment down in the comment section to uh, my Mastering Dividends eBooks. You, you could click that. It's completely free. It'll give you all the information that you need to know about dividends that I can't, that I don't have the time to talk about in this video. You click that eBook, you get it completely free. It'll teach you everything about dividends that you need to know. That's going to be down in the pin comment section but yeah guys other than that hit that thumbs up button subscribe to the channel i'm zeke bring you the dream game show and i'm out peace